In this video, we're going to take a quick look to see what the angle bisector of a triangle does to the segments within the triangle. So let's get a triangle up here. And so let's say this is A, B, and C. And let's get an angle bisector in here. Let's bisect angle A. And that would look kind of like that. All right, and let's call this point D. Okay, so what this does, actually I'll color code it so it's easier to see. So on this side of the angle bisector we have, well, this should be a straight line. And on the other side of the angle bisector we have this happening here. Alright, so here's what's pretty cool about the angle bisector. Uh, we have BD over AB on one side, that's a D, is equal to, and on the other side we have, let's see here, we have DC over AC. So what this angle bisector does is it chops this line into two. So this over that is going to be equal to this over that for every triangle. So the bi angle bisector always breaks it into two proportions like this. All right, so let's take a look at an example. Okay, so here we have an angle bisector and we know it's an angle bisector because it is creating two equal or congruent angles here. All right, so now that we know it's an angle bisector, we know it's going to be doing what we just looked at. So let's go ahead and color code this. So we have that here, and over here we have these two sides, or these two segments. All right, so now we can set up our proportion. So on one side of our proportion, we have that six over x, is equal to, and then on the other side we have 14 over, well right now we don't know what this is exactly, but we do know that this entire segment is 18 and that part of it is x. So the small part will be equal to 18 minus x. So we can put that down as 18 minus x. All right, so even though we have that 18 minus x there, we still have two fractions or two ratios and we can cross multiply here. So let's go ahead and cross multiply. On the left, we get six times 18 minus x. And on the right side, we get 14 times x. Now we can go ahead and distribute this six. So on the left side, we get 108 minus 6x is equal to 14x. All right, so we want all the x's on one side. So let's go ahead and add 6x to both sides. And we get that 108 is equal to, oh, that's supposed to be a 6, so let's fix that. 108 is equal to 20x. Now we can go ahead and divide both sides by 20. I'll put it on top here because I ran out of space. All right, that eliminates there, and we get that x is equal to 108 over 20, which is 5.4. And when you look at the diagram, 5.4 kind of makes sense, seeing that that's 6, and we're done.